So, I've seen The Rise of Skywalker several times now, but I only just now realized something. Ben Solo achieved something his grandfather never could. Now, I initially thought this when Kylo Ren became leader of the First Order, because Darth Vader was always serving the Emperor's bidding. He never became ruler of the galaxy like he wanted to be. But if we're being honest, Kylo Ren's role as Supreme Leader of the First Order kind of pales in comparison to the power that Palpatine maintained. And let's not kid ourselves, Palpatine had a massively superior fleet compared to anything that the First Order possessed. So what is it exactly that Ben Solo could possibly have achieved that his grandfather Anakin did not? For that answer, we have to take a little bit of a step back into the past. And yes, I'm talking very much about the prequels. Now you may remember in episode 2, Anakin lost his mother, and he had had dreams about losing her leading up to that. And then in episode 3, he starts having similar dreams about Padme, and not long after learning that she's pregnant. And shortly after, tensions rise between him and the Jedi Council, and all of this begins to really weigh on him. He feels increasingly alone. His fear of loss became so powerful, and it compelled him to actually surrender to this incredibly evil man, who convinced him that the only way to learn such a power was to embrace the dark side. And Anakin had no real allegiance to Palpatine. He only submitted to him as a means to an end. And let's not all forget that Yoda very explicitly said to Anakin that the fear of loss is a path to the dark side. But all this to say, that conversation between Palpatine and Anakin, in which Anakin is intrigued by Palpatine's words about Darth Plagueis and how Darth Plagueis knew how to manipulate and theoretically create life. And he said, now this was the key part that Anakin honed in on, that he was so powerful he could even prevent those he loved from dying. But this is where it gets really interesting. See, there have been instances in the Star Wars saga where Force users were so powerful that they could keep themselves from dying. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Darth Maul used his rage to tap into the dark side when he was cut in half in episode one to actually somehow survive. And even though I think that's kind of absurd, but it it's, you know, whatever. He's in, he's in the Clone Wars and all that good stuff. So there's precedent for having the ability to keep yourself from dying to some extent, but to actually keep someone from dying that you care about someone other than yourself that's been hinted at and until now we actually had not seen it happen but in the rise of skywalker we finally do see it happen so we do see rey using a form of this power throughout the rise of skywalker but she never actually resurrects anyone from death completely it's not until ben solo comes upon rey after the end of the big fight and he finds her and she's already passed on and that's when we get this amazing moment where he actually reaches out with the Force and brings her back to life. And the whole time I'm watching this, I kept thinking to myself, how did Ben Solo know how to do this? But then I remembered that Ben and Rey share this very interesting connection through the Force. And because of that, Rey has been able to learn a lot of his powers and vice versa. So I think after Rey used this healing power on him on the Death Star wreckage, I think he was able to learn that power as well. And the only difference is that it ended up killing him in the process, of which I still don't fully understand. I, I think maybe he was so beaten up and worn out and Palpatine had drained so much of his life already that he just simply had nothing left to give. That's a matter of debate, I guess. But still, he did it, and it's something I don't think we've ever seen in Star Wars before. It's been talked about, it's been hinted at, but Ben Solo actually brought back the one he loves from the dead. And it is one of the coolest moments at the end of the film, even with all the issues of the third act, it is still so awesome to see. And I think the scene is really awesome for a number of reasons, but one of them is obviously because Anakin's been trying to do something like that forever, and he went to the grave not knowing how to do it, and to see a Skywalker finally succeed in saving the one that they love is just a really cool way to bring things around full circle. But I also think it's really interesting that 
it came through means of a light side power and not a dark side power. So in other words, the Sith were never able to achieve this kind of power no matter how much they desired it. I think maybe because they chose the easy and quick path and because they never could understand this concept of love. That's, that was an alien concept to Palpatine especially. He did not understand how Anakin could love Luke and, and be willing to lay down his life for him like that and, and so on. I think one interpretation of the scene is just a testament to the power of love and that's a concept that transcends fiction and is something that's obviously very relatable to us. And so I really love that it's used in this context and in this way that triumphs over evil. So it's kind of like love has the final word in this moment where Ben gets to save Rey. And even though he doesn't get to be with her, and even though we don't get to see a future with them together, and I'm still very, very, very angry about that, but it is pretty awesome that he got to have this moment with her. So this whole video is not meant to diss on Anakin by any means, because I love Anakin Skywalker and he is one of my favorite characters, but I think it's really cool that his grandson was able to achieve something that he desired for such a long time, and I just really love this moment. I thought it, it made the final act a little bit easier to swallow, even as hard as it, <laughs> even as hard a pill as it is to swallow with how short it is and everything that happens, but bravo Ben Solo, bravo, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys agree, let me know what you think in the comments below, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something here, but I, I kind of thought that it was a nice callback, and even if that's not what they were going for, it's a really cool way to bring things full circle. Well, that's all I got for now, folks. Uh, it's just something I wanted to talk about, and I know I've not done a movie or game review in a while, so I'm going to start working on that again. But, you know, life happens, and it gets crazy. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would, leave a like and a comment below, and if you enjoyed this content and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I really look forward to making my next video for you guys. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much.